Hey, crossword fans. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, June 28th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, potato informally. Uh, an informal name for a potato could be spud. All right, and I like to build off of answers we already have in the grid. So let's try some of these downs here. Weeps loudly. That should be sobs, right? Get ready for a test, say. Hmm, I wonder if this is prep. Like SAT test prep. Blank name and password. That's probably username and password. Maybe we can start looking at these acrosses here. Approximately. That should be or so. I wonder why this clue has these ellipses in front of it. That's a little weird because this would have worked just as the word approximately, right? You don't need those ellipses, do you? Hmm. This is looking a little weird to me. I wonder if this is part of the theme actually. Hmm. It might just be clued a little strangely though. Let's take a look at this long one. This is most likely a theme answer here and maybe that'll answer some of our questions. So this red thing, mom, this is not good. Hmm. This clue is interesting. Usually when a clue is in quotes like this, that means you need to come up with an equivalent phrase for the answer, but this is probably a theme answer. So it might be working a little bit differently than a normal equivalent phrase clue. Um, because this is not really a standard phrase. This doesn't really have a standard meaning. So this red thing, mom. Hmm, interesting. This is a very weird phrase. Let's see if we can get more crossing help and maybe we can suss out what this actually is gonna be. Ooh, spill the tea. Okay, this is a standard equivalent phrase clue with these quotation marks here. Um, so you're asking someone to gossip, right? When you say, ooh, spill the tea. And another way to ask someone to gossip could be maybe do tell. That's a good equivalent phrase there. Um, wild time at the mall could be a spree, right? Like a shopping spree. Lounge around. Maybe that's lays. That kind of means the same thing. Ooh, we've got a cross clue here, rises up on its hind legs as a 13 down. Hmm. This EA here is making me think it might be rears, like a horse would do maybe. Is this going to be a horse? Animal in a stable. Yeah, it probably is a horse. All right, nice. And then this is going to be rears. Hmm. Okay, what do we have here now? Beat. Huh. I guess a beat could be the red thing that they're talking about. Um, and then beat root. Boy, I still have no idea what this is going to be. And it's going to be something that's not good. Hmm. There's going to be maybe something wrong with the beat. <laughs> Wow, interesting. You know what, let's let's try and work into this center section here. Even though we don't have anything yet for this center section, I think it might behoove us to figure out exactly how this theme is working. So let's see if we can break into it. Blank before beauty, that's age before beauty. Dessert succulent. Um, I think the agave plant is a succulent. Is that right? Let's see if we can confirm that. Republicans for short. Another word for Republicans is the GOP, the Grand Old Party. That's an old nickname for the Republican Party. Blank Vera. That's aloe vera. Isn't aloe vera another succulent? I've got a very succulent section here. Change into different forms. Hmm. I wonder what kind of forms they're talking about here. It's not like vacillate or something. Hmm. 
walks in. I guess that could just be enters, like you would enter a room. Okay, blank heights, Syria, Israel border area. I believe that's the Golan Heights. Um, beat report. It looks like that's what it's gonna be, right? Beat report. Okay, so I guess instead of B-E-A-T, like a beat reporter, a B-E-A-T reporter is out on the beat covering a story. Um, so I guess this is puns on common phrases, maybe turning them into vegetables. We'll have to see. The first one is turned into a vegetable um, because this whole phrase right here could be taken as a beat report, right? Yeah, interesting, okay. Uh, I guess this could be very, and then what is this? This starts with I, assesses visually. Hmm, I guess it's eyes something. You can put this S in because in the clue it's assesses kind of in the present tense. So that means the answer has to be in that same tense. So it's gonna be eyes. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna end though. Hmm, or you know what? This could be the S that we need for the present tense though, if this ends up being eyeballs, right? If it's a whole phrase. Okay, yeah, there we go. So it didn't end up having an S here. I thought it was gonna be like eyes up or eyes over or something like that, but it's eyeballs all as one word. And the S at the end there confirms this present tense. Okay, that's good. Net material could be mesh, okay. Reverberation, uh, that could be an echo, right? Yeah, ending with church or party. So a word that can go at the end of each of these words, hmm. Church bell? There's no party bell, really. Hmm, I think I might need a little more help on that one. Epic failure. Hmm. Culprit in some food poisoning cases? That's gotta be E. coli, right? Conch EG? That's a type of a shell you'd find on the beach. Oh, is this goer? Church goer? Party goer? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I ever would have guessed that. Um, hmm. Mega something? Is it like a mega bomb? Mega fail? No, fail is in the clue, so it can't be in the answer. Amend a tax return, perhaps. That could be refile. Maybe it's a mega flop? That would be like a epic failure of a movie, right? Item strung on a necklace? I guess that could just be a bead. All right, let's take a peek at this, what I suspect is our second theme answer. The French one is my favorite. Wait, no, the pretzel one. Um, French and pretzel. Hmm, is this about bread? There's French bread and pretzel bread, kind of. Hmm, there isn't really pretzel bread, though. Hmm, yeah, let's try and get some more crossing help here. Actress Catherine Blank Jones, that's Catherine Zeta Jones who is Welsh, as I just learned recently, manages to elude. Uh, could that just be evades, maybe? Is this reversal? Reversal, yeah, it's looking like that, right? Yes, it's gonna be roll reversal, right? Because there's French rolls and pretzel rolls. So instead of R-O-L-E, it's roll. Okay, so maybe it's not necessarily vegetables, but food. Maybe it's just general food transformations that the phrases are going through. Okay. Singer McIntyre, that's Reba McIntyre. She shows up on the grid quite often. You can't say they won't give a hoot. Um, this is, okay, this is a good example of a exclamation point clue. Um, when you see a clue with an exclamation point at the end of it, it's not like a wordplay clue that are indicated by question marks. 
exclamation point clues, I kind of think of them as definitional clues. So how you have to think about them is when you see an exclamation point, the clue is asking for a definition of something. So what is something where you can't say they won't give a hoot? And something that hoots is an owl, right? Owls definitely hoot. You can't say that they won't hoot. So I think our answer is going to be owls. And it's plural because it's asking for they. That was a tricky one. That's almost like an exclamation point and a wordplay clue mixed into one. That's a tricky one for a Monday. Okay, reveal as confidential information. Um, that could be leak, right? Boring. I guess that could be blah. That was on the grid yesterday. Request from. Um, maybe is that ask of? It could be. Let's see if we can confirm this F here. Gas or coal. Those are both types of fuel. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Popular meal kit company or the mother of the food critic featured in this puzzle. Oh, interesting. So do we not only have wackified food phrases, we have a food critic hidden somewhere in the puzzle too. Interesting. Um, meal kit. I don't really get meal kits, so... Hmm, I don't know. Am I gonna know this? Is it hot something? Hmm. This is probably gonna be another theme answer, right? Ew, mollusks. I don't know. Didn't this make me sick last time? Um... Hmm. Is this shell fish? Does it end with shellfish? Maybe. Um, cause mollusks are shellfish, right? So maybe it's a pun on selfish. Hmm. I don't know though, because these all are homophones, right? They sound exactly the same as the phrase they're replacing. Shellfish would be an outlier, um, because it has that sh sound in it hmm i don't know about that let's see it, can we confirm it maybe award won multiple times by modern family and all in the family mm, is that emmy okay so i think maybe it's not shellfish and that's good because i was not liking that after we ended up putting it in okay um but we don't really have a clue as to what it is now. Let's see if we can get some crossing help on the downs here. Gradually wear away as soil. That should be erode. Rises up in protest. It's not revolts. Revolt. Revolt would work, although it's not the right tense. It doesn't have the S. It's not in present tense. So it can't be revolt. It would have to be revolts. Hmm. Gaze intently could be stare. Mexican marinade made with chili pepper. That should be adobo, I think. Um, okay, so this is rebels. There we go. That makes more sense. Blissful spots could be Edens, figuratively. You can count blank. You can count on me. Um... Maybe it's muscle. Oh, yes, it is muscle, right? And then it could be muscle memory. That's a phrase. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. These are all good phrases so far. Very good. Okay. Get out of blank. Leave town. That could be get out of dodge. If you're going to light out, you could be said to be getting out of dodge. Yeah. Okay. Sonnet or ode. Those are both poems. Training place for martial arts. That's called a dojo. One of 10 on a 10 speed. I guess that would be a gear. And then that makes this jam for printer malfunction. Yep. Um, 
Hmm, we just got the M here, right? That's not a lot of extra help. I wonder if our food critic is going to show up on the last sort of theme answer spot here. Hmm. Wow, mom, this is like at a restaurant. Dibs on the chocolate pudding. Hmm. No, this feels like a standard theme answer that we've been dealing with. Okay. Boy, these are hard to get without any crossing help though, aren't they? I feel like I need at least like a quarter of it filled in before I kind of have an idea of what's going on. They're really hard to get cold. All right, let's keep trying to go down and maybe get some more crossing help. Twilled fabric for suits. Twilled. Um, hmm, I don't know about that. Buona blank, Italian greeting. Is that Buona Sera? Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, geez. Um, boy, I think I might have seen this. Is it like Surge or something? Is it like this? I'm only like 10% confident in that. Let's see if we can confirm it. Fumble four. When you have a clue that has a word in parentheses like this, that means the word in parentheses needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and also makes sense. So this could be like grasp for maybe. Is this a P? Fraternal order. Hmm. Is this going to be about like elks or something like a fraternity? Hmm. Sound of sitting down heavily. Thump. That's too long. Honolulu's home. Is that on Maui? I don't know Hawaiian geography that well. Or is it Oahu? Jeez, I really don't know. Has an evening meal. Yeah, I think that should be sups, maybe. It's kind of fancy. Um, so maybe it is Oahu. I like the H in the second position here. I get it now. Hmm, is it aha? With an H at the end? That seems a little strange. Maybe this is plop? For sitting down heavily? Hmm. Could this be grope? Grope for? Still makes sense, right? Okay. Maybe it is elks. That was our first guess, wasn't it? And then this could be O oh, okay for an equivalent phrase there. That's good. All right. Um, former Philippine president Ferdinand. I think that's Fernand Marcos. That name is sort of ringing a bell. So let's put that in. Did we get Surge right? That's that's crazy. I was not sure about that one. Um, okay, this ends in call. Um, I don't think it's going to be roll call. Uh, hmm. It's gonna be about the chocolate pudding, maybe? Boy, these are hard to get. Hmm. NBC sketch show in brief. I guess that's Saturday Night Live. Philippa Blank, Tony nominee for Hamilton. Ooh, is this an actress? Yeah, I definitely don't know that. Energy giant synonymous with corporate scandal. That's definitely Enron. That's the 2001 scandal that shows up on the puzzle all the time. Okay, we've got an SAT analogy here. Dollar sign is to dollar as euro sign is to euro. <laughs> yeah, pretty straightforward there. Journeys blank stop believing. That's don't stop believing. Classic rock anthem there. Seat at a counter. I guess that's a stool, right? Kind of like a bar stool. Um, is this moose call? <laughs> that's pretty cute too. Moose call. Oh man. Okay, so it is all about food. Yeah. Okay. Sea foams. Oh, geez. There's some very tricky vocabulary on this puzzle today. Surge. Um, 
and I have no idea what this is going to be. Render impossible. Is this preclude? Yeah, that's another tricky vocab word. Like, yeah, you hear it like this precludes the possibility of going any further. Something would make that impossible. Yeah. Wow. Very tricky there. Hmm. Is this like home cook? Is it home cook? Hmm. I guess because the... Are all the phrases someone talking to their mother? Two of them are. I guess you could read these two as also talking to the mother, even though she's not referenced directly. Hmm. Could it be home cook? I've never heard of that as a company. Hmm. Scent of an animal. Huh. Exchange. Hmm. Is that a noun or a verb? This could go either way. That's a little tricky, ambiguous clue there. Fix as a not. Um, hmm. I don't know about that one either. Actress Meryl with the nine Golden Globe Awards. That's got to be Meryl Streep, right? Spoons. Oh, man. You know what? I think maybe I've seen this word like once in my life before. I never would have been able to come up with it. Wow. What a hard cross here. Preclude and spoons. Jeez. <laughs> Is this really a Monday? Wow. Okay. Can we get some of these downs now? Exchange could be trade. Um, sentiment animal. I'm still not sure about that. It's a crime to lie under it. <laughs> this is this is what I would consider a misdirection clue. It's kind of makes you think that this clue is talking about like lying under something. Like you're literally lying under something. Like it might be illegal to like lie under a truck or something. Maybe. But that's not what they're talking about. They're talking about lying as like telling an untruth, right? So it's definitely illegal to lie under oath, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good misdirection there. <clears throat> okay, so this is not home cook. Maybe it's a home chef, though? That CH? Uh, fix as a not could be retie. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Garfield's canine pal is Odie. Are they pals? I don't know. They don't seem to get along that well. Okay. Ecosystem built by corals. That should be a reef, right? And what is this? A spore? <laughs> what? The, the vocab in this corner is outrageous. Is outrageously arcane. Spore? That's wild. Where's the food critic? Oh, it's not a specific food critic. It's just, it's the food critic that's saying all these lines. It's not an actual food critic. I was expecting to get like the name of an actual food critic, but it's, yeah. Okay. I was a little confused there. That's funny. All right. Okay. So we don't have a celebrity food critic. We just have a kind of picky eater sort of food critic, a generic picky eater. Yeah. Except they like moose, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, let's put in this reef and see if that does it for us. Nice. Okay, 25 minutes. Uh, not a great time for a Monday for us. It was a little on the hard side. It wasn't that crazy hard, but I think um, I wanted to take some extra time and really dive into some basic crossword solving strategies and kind of explain in a little more detail the different types of crossword clues we were seeing today because we got a good variety of them. Um, I liked that we saw this misdirection clue here. I liked that we saw a exclamation point clue here for the owls. That was great. We got some good equivalent phrases here like this spill the tea one. I liked that one a lot. Um, yeah, this one maybe was a little hard though. Um, just based on the vocabulary uh, surge, I consider surge, spooms, spore, and maybe preclude, although that's not really that bad, but 
this like triple S hat trick of difficult vocab seems a little hard for a a Monday. Yeah. But you know, I like learning new words, so it's kind of nice. Um, I liked the theme a lot. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really lend itself to kind of using the knowledge of how the theme is working and being able to make the subsequent theme answers a little more gettable. The wackified phrases are just a little too hard to kind of come up with out of thin air. You need a lot of crossing help to get them, but they were fun. So I did enjoy them quite a bit. Um, uh, and as for like, hmm, proper nouns, this one was a little obscure for a Monday maybe. Um, but I think the rest of them were fine. Like Reba is totally fine. There weren't a lot of other names either. I guess Catherine Zeta-Jones is pretty gettable also. So yeah, that was all fine. All right. Well, I think that was a nice Monday, maybe a little on the difficult side, but still very enjoyable. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that. What I guess we could call maybe a child food critic themed puzzle. Um, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.